in a way, this is the only marketing that I do. There's a secondary side of this. And I want to talk about that because it might be useful for people who are podcasting is I syndicate the content if that's the right word. Yeah. But like this, this interview with you, I've got four different time references right down. I got 1016, 1027, 1032, 1036, <laughs> and four different topics that wow. we talk about. And so at the end of this interview, I'm going to go back and just get the start and end points and put that into my content factory and my social media person. We're going to chop that up, write a little article, put it on the blog, put it on YouTube, load it into my email autoresponder for the people who subscribe to get my content. And then everything will get loaded into Hootsuite or some kind of social media platform so that it'll go out automatically over the next seven days so that people will be get, seeing this on Instagram. They'll see it on Twitter. They'll see it on LinkedIn. So awesome. there's a whole syndication back end to this. I want to talk about content marketing, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, since you brought sure. that up. I, I didn't know that that's what it was called, but back in 1998, 1999, I started a newsletter. Uh, it, initially, I actually had 200 people subscribed and I didn't have the newsletter yet. Cause I'd go and give speeches and people would sign up and, you know, for my newsletter on these on paper. And I had all this, this list of all these email addresses had no newsletter. So then I finally created it. And for years I would put out articles and this was before video was even a thing. Mm -hmm. And then ultimately now it's video. So I didn't know that that's what I was doing until someone asked me, what's your marketing strategy? And I said, I don't really have one. And someone said, that's crap. You've been putting out value consistently for years and years and building your audience that way. Podcasting is just another way to do it. It means that you don't have to write articles. It means that you don't have to sit down and generate content alone, which you can still do. That's it. I do it sometimes. I get an idea for a video, record it on my phone, upload it to Dropbox, and my social media person can send it out. But as you said earlier on, get someone else interview an expert yeah. and boom, you've got content, you've got ideas, and then you can chop up that content in different ways. And you've got a podcast on top of that. If you go and guest appear on someone else's show, you can write down the time references and whatever, and, or just have your, have an, a VA go through the video and pull out select clips. Boom. There's your content. So I have an endless supply of content for social media. And I think I'm just a fan of content marketing, like educate your audience, help your audience, give away information for free. Taki Moore is a coach that I, I followed for a while. I like a lot of his content. And he says, I give away my information for free. I charge a premium for implementation. Mm, wow. Makes a lot of sense. So you can go to my podcast and get on my email list and you can get so much amazing content for me. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're going to implement it. Yeah. I charge for helping you actually put that into, into place so that you can have the results that you want. So there's, there's my plug for content marketing and podcasting, yeah. I think is a great method. If that's the way you want to do it, if you don't want to do that, have a YouTube channel and just create videos or write articles. But I'm a massive fan for content marketing.